Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey everybody, what y'all doing today? You might be wondering what I'm doing out here. You know, me and mom's been going walking every day and <laughs> this little new little jazzy scooter I got, you can adjust the speed up and down and all of that stuff but i i tell you what that little joystick is really um i don't know it's kind of hard for me to to do it i was trying to back it up in the garage and i was having little issues this sucker will really flat go so i thought you know what let me get out here it might be a little bit dangerous for her you know if we was like in a crowd or something like that because i golly i don't know I might need to think, you know, she's used the ones before that had, I uh, like the little st steering wheels. But I thought this joystick would be better because it wouldn't be making her hands hurt so bad. But anyways, I don't know. I'm rethinking this joystick. Any of you guys out there got elderly parents or grandparents or anything? Have y'all tried the joystick or you prefer to have the uh, handle handlebars? Just kind of curious because that's that's... I don't know, it's sensitive is the word I'm trying to say. I mean, sensitive. You try and just back it up straight, and it's just like, holy smokes. But anyways, I thought that was uh, would be kind of fun for y'all to watch me try and play around with Mom's new scooter this morning before I go into my little session here. Today, what I wanted to talk to you guys about would be why do people start online businesses why do they do it and so I made a little list last night over some of the top reasons and I thought that I would share those with you today you know for many people making money online would be a dream come true they could take back their time freedom spend more time with their family and friends and all those things and you know basically they could take back control of their lives but unfortunately what ends up happening and I know because this happened to me you know you give up a stable 40 hour a week job with stable pay so to speak and you give it up and the next thing you know you find that you're working 100 hours a week for far less pay so why in the world would people want to own and operate their own online business. So here's some of my top reasons. And you know, one, no matter if you're rich or poor, you don't have to have a lot of money to launch an online business, which to me is a no-brainer. I mean, I love the fact that everyday people around the world, not just here in the United States, but everyday people around the world could be owning and operating their online business. So, obviously the flexibility and control of your time. You decide when you work, when you wanna work. Your business can be open 24 hours, seven days a week, which is super cool. That means that you don't have to be working that time. Your website, your funnel, all those things can be working for you. Number two, freedom to work from anywhere. You know, the laptop lifestyle is fantastic. As long as I have a cell phone and a laptop, I am good to go. I can be anywhere in the world that has an internet signal and I can run my business. Number three, freedom to pursue your passion or turn a side project into something more. Some of you have some really great hobbies or skill sets that you could easily put on to an online business. Next, be the boss. A lot of you think you know more than your boss. As you get older, you learn, you know, that may or may not be the case. But sometimes you want to challenge the status quo. You know, you know a better way to build a mousetrap, so to speak, and they won't listen to you. So some people decide that they would rather be the boss. Next, a large potential client base. There's over eight billion people in the world over eight billion people that's a lot of fish out there in the sea how many do you need to be your customer in order for you to have a successful online business next low operating cost affordable marketing and advertising 
Low operating costs. What's it take, y'all? You probably already have it. You've got a laptop and a cell phone probably in your hand that you're watching this video from right now. And with social media and the internet, you know, all of these different social media platforms, it's right here at your fingertips, and you don't have to spend. Now, some people do spend money on ads, but a lot of people don't. They learn how to leverage social media so that they can draw people in to their business. Y'all hear those birds? I just love it. I'm so blessed right here in my neighborhood. Of course, I gripe sometimes because of all the, you know, <laughs> leaves and all that stuff, but it really is. Just love it. Love it, love it. Next, huge income and growth potential. There's a potential for high scalability. You know, you can outsource a whole lot of things. You don't have to do it all on your own. You can spend your time focused on doing what you do best. And so if you build your infrastructure correctly for your online business, you can scale that sucker to as big as you want. I believe yesterday I talked about the Two Comma Club. I love it. Russell Brunson on ClickFunnels. Guys, they have people that, you know, that the Two Comma Club means you've made a million dollars, at least a million dollars on in your online business. They've got people that have made a million, five million, ten million, twenty-five million, and now they have a, a, a new category that I absolutely love because y'all have heard me talk about it before. I really believe in philanthropy and giving back to my community and doing good things and and making a difference in this world. And so they have one now where I don't remember what the dollar amount is in revenue, but that you've, let's just say, you've made a million dollars and you've given away a million dollars or something like that. I absolutely loved that. I'm going to try and incorporate that into some of the things that we're doing. Uh, next, easily provide quality customer support. If there's one thing that I have been hearing recently, and I've been griping about myself, is the lack of customer service. Customer service right now around the world just seems to have tanked. I don't know what it is, but back in my day, and I, you know, I feel like my parents and my grandparents, back in my day, <laughs> but back in my day, we appreciated the customer. You know, the customer was all right, always right. All of those things. Sam Walton started that. Thanks, Diane, for letting me know that. She had told me one time about some of Sam Walton's philosophies because she used to work there years ago. But anyways, um, you know, with, with the tools online now that we have for this, there is no reason to not provide really great customer service to people. And, and it's available 24-7. You don't have to be there to provide the customer service, but you can, you know, set up the infrastructure so that that's taken care of for you. You know, frequently asked questions, videos to help people onboard, get started, how to use your product, all of those things. It's really neat. And this one is a biggie, customer data insights. You know, if you have a brick and mortar store, it's, it's really hard because a lot of people don't ask their customer for feedback. They act like they can read their customer's mind. Well, they're making a huge mistake, in my opinion. And it's really hard to pivot and change. You know, if you've got a million dollars worth of inventory sitting in your store and nobody likes it, well, you've got to do something with that inventory before you can bring in any other inventory. So with this, you know, you can get your customer data insights and give your customers a better experience rather easily if you have an online business. Next, you can offer a wide range of products and services without holding that inventory. You know, there's drop, if you, if you want to talk about products, you know, you can sell somebody else's products. You don't have to even deal with, with having your own products in your garage. You know, you don't have to deal with doing all the shipping and handling and all of that stuff. Gone away are those days. You don't have to do that anymore. Lots of people have Amazon stores and different things, you know, on their, on their website. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, as far as services go, you've got some kind of expertise. You can do training materials. You can do books. You can do easings. You, you know, and those things are evergreen. You know, you might have a skill set that uh, you, you put up and you can sell that thing over and over and over again and get paid multiple times for only doing the job once. You can license your products and, and different things like that so that you're making royalty rewards. 
Last but not least, you can create generational wealth, you know, which is one of the really big things that, that I'm after. I want to set up a legacy for my children, my grandchildren, and my great-grandchildren for generations to come, and there's some things that I want to do with that. And so when you own and operate your own business, you have the ability to set that up exactly like you want it. You know, you're not relying on an employer or, or anybody else to do that. So if there's anybody out there that has tried an online business and failed and would like to give it a go again, or maybe you've just been thinking about doing an online business and don't know where to get started, Starting in October, I'm going to start a training series, and we're going to have two options. I'm going to have a monthly option and a weekly option for anybody that wants to launch an online business. We're going to go step by step all the way through from building out a website, building a funnel, attracting traffic to your uh, website, getting leads, converting those leads into sales. We're going to go through everything, and I'm going to be using some of the world's best training tips and tools and resources, such as Russell Brunson, such as Fraser Brooks, such as Dean Graziosi. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of really great training out there, and maybe some of you can't afford that. So I encourage you. That's one of the things that we do. We crowdfund this type thing, and we bring it into our group, and we all learn. And then the other thing is I was thinking, uh, drop in the, in the comments if you have any questions about what are your top concerns about owning and operating your own online business. You know, what are some of the uh, fears maybe that you have about, about starting one? And I'll try and cover those in upcoming videos. A couple of things that I've thought of is, you know, what, what are the pitfalls of owning and operating your own business online? What are some of the top ways that you can make money online? A lot of people are really worried about being scammed. Well, if you set yourself up, and one of the things that I promote is, guys, listen to me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Listen to me. You need multiple streams of income. I don't know how many times i got to tell you this, but if you only have one and you're still working at a J-O-B, that is dangerous, extremely dangerous. You need multiple streams of income. Right now, I think I shared with you, I got 14 streams of income that's providing me with over a six-figure income. And that's not enough because I could lose some of those streams of income, right? And there's some things that I want to be doing with that. So anyways, you know, start small. It doesn't take a lot of time. But the thing is, is you've got to be dedicated into really getting serious about whether you want this to be a success or not. You've got to treat it like a business. And so many times, people treat their online business like uh, it's an afterthought. Oh, yeah, well, you know, it's a business. So you've got to spend time getting things set up. And it is going to take time. Y'all been watching me for over three years work on this and learn and fail i learn and fail listen to me i learn and fail that's what i do but i get back up on the horse and ride it again until i get things figured out the other thing that's important is you need to surround yourself with people who are smarter than you listen to me i think i'm pretty smart i am i'm real smart <laughs> I'm so smart that I surround myself with people that are smarter than me so that I look smart, but I always give credit. So anyways, again, if you're interested or know anybody that might be interested in launching their own online business, and they might have some great business ideas, maybe they don't want to launch a business, but they've got some ideas for somebody else, send them to me. You, if you're watching this, you're on Facebook or one of the other social media platforms, drop me a DM, put something in the comments, call me, message me. I don't care. Y'all know that I'm really readily accessible and I make myself available. You can talk to anybody that works with me. I'm a really great coach. I give you the time and effort that you need to be successful, and we don't stop until you are successful. So I'm going to end that for now. I'm going to go in there and hop on my laptop and get to work. So y'all have a fabulous day, and I will talk to y'all soon.